a 3D artist, and in this video, I turn simple logos into the most unreasonable and overcomplicated versions I could possibly think of, and we're starting with McDonald's. Now, the McDonald's branding has definitely gotten a lot simpler over the years. The buildings went from this to this. There's a lot less clowns these days, but the logo itself is iconic. I always thought it kind of looks like a spaceship, although I guess every logo kind of does if you think about it long enough. So I'm gonna turn it into one. Now, I gotta be completely honest, I am not gonna be modeling a thousand tiny little details like this, or at least I'm not going to be modeling them myself. There's this cool technique called greebling where you take a bunch of tiny stuff that makes no sense whatsoever, mash it all together, and just hope it looks cool. So basically that's right up my alley since it's so easy. Oh no. Unfortunately, my attention span is not going to allow me to learn all this, but I got the basics down so it's not really an issue. Well, cowabunga. I've decided to come back to this. All right, so we have an idea, but... No, we really don't. So I started messing with the model again, moving things around. This is going nowhere. Oh, X-Wing. Good idea, right? Wrong. Now I actually have to finish this project. Now let's talk a little bit about lighting. Lights can either be soft or hard, depending on its radius and how far away it is. So in space, it's as hard as it gets. But we also need some stars, so I've made some real quick with my beloved noise textures. Noise textures are insanely powerful. They're the muscle behind Minecraft, model generators. They're the reason I get up in the morning is what I'm getting at. So I threw in like 10 of those, added a cool glare effect. Yep, that's uh... That's space. You can even scale it up on one axis and it's the hyperspace effect from Lego Star Wars on the Wii. The random plating looks super cool in this lighting, which is just music to my eyes because this is literally just one light. But honestly, this shape could stand to be a bit better. <laughs> I mean, it's not even connected to itself at all. And it's gonna look even worse than I will after I'm done nitpicking this thing for 10 hours. So I tried out a few more shapes and uh, yeah, that should do it. All right, no more messing around. It's time to face the music and address the only real issue here. The original logo is yellow, but mine looks stupid when I do that. Welp. Boom, look at that. It uses reverse ambient occlusion multiplied with noise textures to mask off the edges and replace them with metal so it looks like the paint is chipped off on the corner. Wait, that actually looks really cool. But it's not enough. So I started randomly changing stuff around. Maybe this up front could be a window or a drive through Maybe these back here can be bare metal. You know what? Just make it all metal. Why not? I even added these random antenna and pipes everywhere. You think anyone's gonna notice if the antenna are just big spatulas? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. And with that, I can finally sit back, relax. No. Not today. I made a promise to ruin this logo, and that's exactly what I intend to do. I didn't want to do this, but I'm gonna have to use my secret move. And that's just more noise textures. This metal looks boring. Boom, noise texture. The paint, ugh, disgusting. Get it out of my sight. Instead, I use this Voronoi texture, which gives it random colors, and it's actually bumpy now, thanks to what? Noise texture. Ship's gotta get around somehow, so I made these big thrusters that go on the back, and this sick light ray effect, which th this one's actually kind of complicated, state of the art. It's a noise texture on a cube. Top's looking kind of plane? Doesn't matter. I added this glowing emblem, a bunch of pipes, a jail set, a uh, waiting room for the DoorDash drivers, and now I can call it an overcomplicated logo. For the render on this one, I imagine there's a whole fleet of these ships just invading the entire galaxy with lab-grown McChickens. So I duplicated them a bunch of times, found a decent camera angle, and with that, the McEmpire is born. Comparing this to the old logo, it's uh, definitely not too complicated, but it is every bit as lovely. So McDonald's, feel free to hire me. It's whatever. Please don't come after me, McDonald's. I love you. I'm super happy with how this came out, but to be honest, this is child's play, at least compared to what I did next. Wait, who put this ship here? Oh, maybe it was World of Warships. They're the sponsor of today's video. Real quickly, it's this really fun free game where you can command over 500 insanely detailed ships with realistic armor mechanics that I just know someone missed the birth of their own child to make, you know I gotta pay respect to that. Whenever I'm all stressed out from trying to recode Blockbench's entire UV solver into Blender just because I'm too lazy to learn how to use it, there's nothing quite like trying to hide a hundred thousand ton steel brick behind a rock. It's available on PC and console, and they've got ships for every playstyle. You could try to hail marry someone in a submarine, or run aircraft carrier and just kind of chill somewhere while you harass people from across the map. The choice is yours. This is the type of game you can find a 40 minute tutorial on how to aim and it doesn't even cover everything. It's a lot of fun. Try World of Warships today. It's completely free. And if you use my link below to register, you can get a whole bunch of bonus stuff for free. But that's enough of that. Let's get back to the video. For my next project, I dropped in this old Xbox and carefully extracted the logo from the front, making sure not to damage any of the internal mechanisms. I'm going with the Xbox logo for this one. It's another one of those brands that's gotten a lot more simple over the years. It'll probably just be a green X eventually, let's be real. Maybe every logo will be at this point. Me personally, 
I really liked this version. It had this cool depth to it, so I'm gonna reference that pretty closely. I turned on the glowing part in the middle, and it looks really cool in 3D, obviously, but it's not gonna live up to the level of detail I'm going for. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Don't slam the door on your way out. Oh, come. I made a new sphere and started putting random extrusions on it. This really is faster now that I know what some of these numbers mean. Wait, what does this one do? Oh, I started testing out different rooms or environments for the background, but I'm kind of unclear on how big this thing is even supposed to be. Is it a device of some kind or another spaceship, maybe? I guess there's only one person who can clear this up. Kyle, you want to come on out? Guys, Kyle's going to be our banana for scale today. He's a volunteer from the Kyle. Drop the monster, drop it, and there goes the drywall. Maybe it could just be floating around in a hallway or a forest or a castle or woohoo island from Wii Sports Resort. The possibilities are essentially endless, but for now I gotta focus on this sphere. I made a big glowing version and typed up a bunch of gibberish to put on the alpha channel. I can even animate the position and make it look like scrolling code or something. Next I use this build modifier to unbuild it. And honestly, it looks really good, but for being an Xbox logo, it sure doesn't seem to have an X or a box anywhere near it. But I should probably get started on that now. I made this big planar shape, elongated it, and used it to cut a perfect X out of the sphere on the first try. <sighs> Can you work for once? Kyle, stop eating all the sheet metal. We're gonna need that later. I ended up switching to a more solid sphere for this. The random plating is really cool, but it needs more structure so it looks more like an X and less like a perplexus. Someone better know what I'm talking about. Anyway, this hallway is kind of just three squares stuck together with flex tape, so I decided to start decorating in here. Kyle doesn't want to help, so I duct taped him to the wall and sold him at auction for $120,000. That actually happened, look it up. Then I just started placing random objects everywhere. There's not really any rhyme or reason to it. A staircase here, Honda Civic here, really makes the place feel lived in, you know? I also modified the shape of the room. Now it's more like a research facility with metal textures everywhere. It's pretty amazing what floating cables that connect to absolutely nothing can do for a scene. The room looks nice and all, but at the end of the day, this is a logo video and this is not going to cut it. So I added back a bunch of the details to the sphere, deleted a bunch of random faces here and there, and that's how it's done. Tell him, Kyle. Kyle? Oh yeah, he's gone. I wonder how he's doing these days. Maybe he turned himself around. What? They ate him? Kyle, no! No! All right, so I pointed this big spotlight at it. It looks cool with or without it, but I think it separates it pretty nicely from the background. It also makes it actually visible, so there's that. I threw in a few more props like pipes and uh, walkways that don't go anywhere. Maybe a couple of fire extinguishers for safekeeping. You can't have too many of these, really. And with that, I'm thinking this is pretty much done. So I decided I would ask you guys what your favorite is between the two. So let's uh, see what enlightening things people have to say. Xbox, 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 Xbox. Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. Okay, so there's a clear favorite here. I'm not really surprised by that, but I was surprised to see how many people thought this was AI generated. That's gotta be AI, right? No way you made that. Does he know? <laughs> there were even people getting angry about it. Maybe it's the art style. Maybe it's the fact that this is my first artwork in this style. Wait, maybe it's all the random objects strewn around without any reasoning behind them. Nah. <laughs> Whatever, I've clearly got room to improve, so until next time, you have a fantastic week. Touch some grass today. See ya.